Hello, my ugly mug again. Got myself a Ninja Turtle shirt. We're going to do review time right now. Have about one, two, three, four, five movies I will review right here, right now. Uh, the first one um, is a Justice League animated film. Uh, probably in my top five favorites uh, DC Universe movies they did. Uh, I love this movie so much. Um, the, the Flashpoint Paradox. It's pretty much what the premise of the film is. Is that Flash is transported into an alternate universe and all that. In which Bruce Wayne is killed. But his father becomes Batman. And he's not the same Batman his son became. He has a gun and kills his enemies. And also we have Aquaman and Wonder Woman that are the major villains in the story. So it's up to uh, the Flash to just really uh, take back his, um, his own universe and everything. Uh, set everything right and such, so... Uh, I wish they would do a lot more stuff with Flash and the reverse Flash and all that. They do they do have a, a live-action TV series, but I wish they would do a lot more uh, animated TV series, probably video games, because the Flash is so awesome. Even they, they portrayed a lot of it on The Big Bang Theory with Sheldon and everything, and the guys and such, but it's a really good movie. Uh, for anybody out there that loves um, uh, the Justice League, loves Batman, Superman, and all that, I highly recommend, out of a top 10, I probably would give this film an 8 out of 10. It is that good. Uh, compared to a lot of the films that they released recently, uh, this one, uh, Doom... Um, I said Doom, yeah, uh, no, not Doom, um, I can't remember, uh, I, I, my mind is not really, um, into a lot of this, but, yeah, it's pretty much, the, the, the one I'm talking about, it's pretty much, uh, the Legion Doom and all that, pretty much try to kill the Justice League and, and such. So yeah, it's pretty much what, what the premise of the film is. I doesn't really come to mind right now. But anyways, we're going to continue with the second one. It's a recently released uh, movie that I, I was really surprised how awesome it was. Uh, it's a new Pixar film, Coco. It's about Miguel and all that. That uh, is transported into... Uh, some, some sort of other dimension, some other world and such. And this little village, pretty much uh, for years, since the 40s or 50s, uh, have idolized um, a musician and all that. And when Miguel goes, I think it was um, not heaven, I, I don't remember what they called it, but where the, the, the dead go and everything. And pretty much um, Miguel goes there to meet his father and all that. And he's not really welcome a lot of times. But it's pretty much up to him to uh, just really go back to, his, to where he came from and all that. But there's some... I'm not going to spoil anything. But there's something that shocked me in the film... Um, pretty much I didn't see coming, but he is, I cannot remember his name right now, but he is one of the major characters in the film, and, um, Hector, yeah, Hector, sorry about that, I'm not really that good at remembering characters' names and all that, but, uh, really love Hector and all that, he's just really pretty much... Uh, seems in the beginning like a scumbag and everything, but with the, as the evolution of his character, just really you feel for him. Really, what um, little boy finds out? Excuse me, finds that. Wow, 
finds out about Ector and all that um, during uh, certain things that happen in the film. Uh, would I recommend this film? Oh, hell yeah. Probably a 9.1 out of a 10. Uh, I really give this movie a high praise because it's so good. Uh, it is really uh, a must-see film. Uh, a lot of good comedy. Um, if I had to probably choose a lot of what... Um, Pretty much, my favorite parts are when Miguel is in, um, like, the place for the, the, the dead and everything. Um, pretty much just exploring and, and such, just really trying to uh, figure out stuff and, and such. But it's, it's a really well-made, amazing film. Um, that I, I wish that Pixar would not do, except I'm so happy to The, the Incredibles 2. But I hope. I'm crossing my fingers. D do original shit. Because it's pretty much what happens a lot of times with Disney. Is they take a franchise and they overexpand it to death and everything. Uh, just really frustrating sometimes. You want to see something new. You want to see something fresh. You want to see something that you have never seen. Imagination and such. Just pretty much it's... It's now to me, honestly, imagination and creati creativity is not accepted in society now. You you are pretty much um, not a loser, but you're pretty much not accepted in society if you're creative or some some shit like that. You really have to be uh, a certain type of person and everything because um, me I'm. I'm not the greatest uh, creative person ever, but I love creating uh, stuff and creating um, videos like this. Just really doing um, little reviews. They're, they're nothing amazing, but I just love doing them. I don't do it for the, uh, for the music. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for the fortune. I just love doing this stuff. Um, just pretty much, hey, if there's only two person... Two people in, on this entire freaking planet that has seen the video. And that will go out and buy the movie and support it. I will be happy with that. Uh, the next one is Blade. Uh, Blade. Pretty much everybody's seen Blade. Uh, Wesley Snipes' it's masterpiece. Uh, the first two films and all that. Pretty much Blade is about Blade. Um, Wesley Snipes' character, Blade, um, is half-human, half-vampire. Um, he's actually trying to kill a lot of vampires in, uh, in the city. Um, what do they call the city? I don't remember. But, yeah, it's pretty much trying to get rid of a lot of, uh, the bloodsuckers and everything, the vampires and such. Um... They really did. Um, to be honest, I've never read the original uh, graphic novel or comics or whatsoever of Blade, but oh my god, <laughs> amazing. Um, the early CG in this is probably not that great, but for the time, it was good. Um, probably the third one was gar god awful garbage. Um, Certainly with uh, the wrestler Triple H that was in the movie. It was a terrible film. Uh, the first two films were awesome, but I don't know what the hell they fought with the uh, third film. Um, basically, it's a trail ride from beginning to end and all that. Um, just really blade uh, trying to defend the city and trying to save people from vampires and such and all sorts of things happen. Um, I'm not gonna say too much about the film, but yeah, um, I would recommend anybody out there that has never seen the film Blade um, go watch it. Um, it's been so long since I've seen the film. I'm just really, I'm uh, <laughs> just really uh, saying a couple of things that I remember about the film. And the next one is probably a film that probably 99% of people hate. 
I don't know why. I just, just call classic film to me. And to me, when a certain character says, Welcome Good Burger. I'm the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> oh my God. It was probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire film. But uh, it's um, Ed and Dexter. Uh, Ed pretty much... Uh, one summer, accidentally, well, stupidly, accidentally, dents is, uh, I think, his teacher's car uh, or something like that. And he has to find a job to pretty much pay um, for the damage and all that. So he meets Dexter, who pretty much created a sauce and all that. And, yeah, he has an idea to use it. In the good burgers and all that. To use it and make money with it and such. Until Arrival. Um, I can't remember what the, the burger company name is. Mega Burgers or something like that. Pretty much uh, starts taking over. Um, well, their business and everything. And they, they have to do something to... Um, either get rid of the competition or try to find out what's in the damn burgers and everything. And Keenan and Cal, not the greatest actors ever, but oh my god. Um, <laughs> Cal plays, plays an airhead and all that. Uh, just really an idiot. But it, it's so funny. A very funny movie. I, I, I would uh, highly recommend this film to anybody out there. I, I know 99% of you, a lot of you guys will hate it. But, I, I don't know, I just really, to this day, I, I love it, and I cherish it uh, so much, because I'm... Excuse me. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen this movie in my town. I've seen it once, and this is the only copy I've ever seen. I've never seen, <laughs> to this day, a copy of this, so... Um, it's really a uh, really good movie. Um, just like Snow Day, um, uh, another N Nick film, uh, love that film too, it's, <laughs> it's good, it's pretty much about kids and all that, that have a snow day, and a lot of the ruckus they basically do and such, so, yeah. Uh, the next one, and the last one, um, is a movie, I don't know if I've ever done a review of it, um, it's been so long since I've seen the film. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, dust experiment and all that, the experiment. It's pretty much what the premise of the film is. It's, um, people that are hired, uh, a whole bunch of them become, uh, prison guards and a whole bunch of them become, uh, inmates. And it's pretty much, uh, an experiment to see what really happens uh, when somebody has a power trip and, and everything and all hell starts breaking loose and just really it's it's a must see for anybody out there um, I think this is based on an actual true story and all that uh, but this is a German film um, wish they would release um, release this on on um, Arrow Video because this right here, this he actually made a remake of this in the U.S., but it was a terrible, crappy film. Um, but I, I just really loved it uh, since the first day I saw it. Uh, it was released by uh, Sony, so Sony Pictures. And I, I, I do think it's still um, widely available, but still, um, it's a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, a lot of times it's, it, it is um, pretty disturbing. Uh, pretty much, uh, I don't really, like I said, I don't know if it was actually based on a true story and all that, but yeah, uh, just really shows you when somebody has a power trip and all that, what the hell they're, they're going to do. So yeah, um, not the greatest review ever, but hope a lot of you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll try to do some, probably some wrestling reviews, probably try to do some, um, some weird little reviews of weird films that I do own. Um, 
probably do an entire review of uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, probably Return of the Killer Tomatoes, uh, probably do some some uh, trauma films, I don't know, something like that, so probably some really uh, Z-type films from uh, Full Moon, um, some really terrible films that I, I do love, um, Seed People and the Shrunken Heads and the Puppet Master, uh, probably the Arcade, and a lot of these weird, terrible films that I, I do remember seeing a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of when I was a kid. Uh, I, I pretty much grew up with uh, Full Moon. Uh, I love Full Moon to death, and I just really stuck to me to this day. But yeah, I, I'm probably one of my favorite films. Remembering um, when I was a kid, probably Shrunken Heads was good. It's pretty, it's pretty much about a bunch of kids and all that that gets that get killed, and an old man pretty much shrunks their heads and they just really start taking revenge on the people that killed them. Just really a terrible film, but I, I love it. Uh, it's just really Z type films, really terrible films. Um, Terrible um, special effects, by the way, but yeah. Um, I'll try to think of uh, other um, stu stuff I can review. Probably some products, probably keys. I don't know. Some Do something different. Try to be at least a little, yeah, a little interesting. Anyways, everybody, good day.